North Bennington, Vermont, one of three communities in our area battling PFOA, that dangerous chemical linked to cancer, and of course it's in their water. U.S. Senator Patrick Leahy is pushing for legislation and government funding, which he says will directly impact the situation there. Kimberly Howard with the story. Senator Leahy met with both local and state officials as well as people who call this community home. He listened to their concerns and made it clear that he's going to have to put up a fight in Washington. Vermont Senator Patrick Leahy arrived at the North Bennington Railroad Station to smiles and applause, though the last few weeks in this community have been anything but joyous. We feel from Vermont that that law needs to be strengthened, so these chemicals aren't put on the market until they've been properly vetted. The chemical is PFOA, which is linked to cancer and somehow leached into more than 100 private wells in the area. The law that Senator Leahy and others feel needs to be strengthened is the Toxic Substances Control Act, or TSCA. Leahy says with reform must also come money for the Environmental Protection Agency. We have to fund it. I guess the follow-up question then would be where would the money be coming from if there were an increase? Ask a parent if they want money spent to make sure their children are getting clean water or do they want money on an offshore war? I don't have to take a poll to know what the answer is on that. Meanwhile, people who live here want answers to other questions. You know, we pay really high taxes and we're happy to do that because we're really proud of our community. But if our properties are not worth anything, our are taxes going to be reassessed? Leahy said priority number one is cleaning up the water contamination. He says when that happens, property values should be fine. But Senator, I'm getting daily emails from all over the country who have read the newspaper coverage of what has happened in North Bennington. Let, let's hope that the reputation by the time we, we get done is going to be <laughs> unlike other towns. This is a town that stepped forward. So they had a problem and fixed the problem. The PFOA test results on about 40 private wells continue to trickle in with additional well testing starting on dozens of other wells starting on Monday. The results on the soil testing are expected in about a month. In North Bennington, Kimberly Howard, CBS 6 News. The state is also in the process of organizing blood tests for people who have been living on properties where their private wells tested positive for PFOA. It's a process they say could take another month. In New Jersey, where water in schools showed high levels of lead, students are getting their blood tested for lead poisoning. The testing, which is voluntary, began Thursday for students in the Newark public school system. Officials announced this week that lead levels in the district's water have been elevated for at least the last four years. 17,000 students are potentially affected. Testing started with the school system's early childhood programs, and parents should get the results in the mail within a week. The doctor who sounded the alarms on the lead crisis in Flint is speaking out tonight, criticizing how government officials are handling the situation. Water crisis began there in Michigan after government officials changed the city's water source to the Flint River as a cost-cutting measure. Dr. Mona Hanna Atisha's research revealed lead levels in Flint's children reaching dangerously high levels. She says a solution to the problem exists, but says state officials will have to be willing to spend money in order to use it. When you think about lead and you think about the long-term and multi-generational impact this could cause, we need to invest today so that we do not see the consequences of lead tomorrow. Um, these are our children. This is not a third world developing country that contaminated their water supply. This is America. This is our great nation, and we need to um, give them all the resources that we can right now. Michigan's Governor Rick Snyder was grilled by lawmakers on Capitol Hill yesterday for failures in response to the situation. The governor was back in Flint today to meet with local leaders about the crisis. Right now, of course, there are three water issues going on in our area in North Bennington, Hoosick Falls, and Petersburg. CBS 6, in order to cover that, as your advocate, will be hosting a town hall event to address those issues. It's Thursday, April 14th, right here at our CBS 6 studios. We'd love for you to attend, but you need to register to do that. Go to CBS6Albany.com.